Hey everybody, it's Lon Seib, and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And this month we're gonna take a look at their new feature called Discover Together. And if you're familiar with Plex, you know that you can share your server with somebody and all the movies and TV shows you have in it. But in addition to that now with Discover Together, you can share your watch list with other people and share with them what you have already watched. And it makes it a really neat way to share content with people who are on your friends list. And what we're gonna do is dive into this feature and see what it's all about. But I do wanna let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they're not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what this new feature is all about. Now at the time I'm shooting this video, this feature is in beta. You have to sign up for it on the Plex website and then your account will get activated. If you have friends connected to your Plex account, when you activate, they will get activated also. And what will happen is they will get a notification when they sign in that this feature has been enabled. Now, right now, the only people who can sign up for the feature are Plex Pass subscribers, but your friends will get it even if they are on the free tier. This is how they're rolling this feature out. And what will happen when you first log in is you will get this uh, landing page here to explain what just got activated. And then you will also have the option for what information you want to have available to your friends list. Now, by default, as you'll see here, everything is set to private. So this doesn't automatically start sharing your watch history with everybody you know. You have to activate the friends only watch history option here for that information to get shared. And your options right now are to share this with friends or not share it with anybody and you have the choice to make public your watch history, watch list, and ratings, or individual items from this list. Not too many options just yet, um, but if you enable all three, what'll happen is your profile will get built, and then any of your friends who go into the Discover feature will be able to see these items. Let's take a look and see what they'll see. Now, this new feature lives inside the Discover section of Plex, and we have looked at this feature in the past here on the channel and you can find my tutorial down below in the video description. In a nutshell, Discover kind of acts as a to-do list of the things that you want to watch and the things that you have watched, and it also keeps track of the things that you are watching, and you can check off every episode of your latest favorite show, for example. And what's nice about it is that it works as a universal search, so you're not limited to just what's on your server and on your friend's servers. It will also find content across all the popular streaming platforms and keep all of it centralized here and you can always find where you want to watch something just by loading up the discover section and Plex will kind of guide you through that. What gets added to this feature when you enable the discover together thing is that you get an activity section up here, you get your friends up here and your personal profile. So why don't we start with the profile so you can see what gets shared out. Now this account I have basically allowed everything to be shared. And what it's keeping track of here is how many movies and shows and episodes have been watched since I joined Plex. And you can see right here, it's giving me a look at my recent watch history. There's no way to selectively decide what gets in the history or not at the moment. So it's an all or nothing thing. But my friends can see what I'm in the middle of watching. And what's nice about this is that shows where there's a spoiler coming up that you don't want to ruin for your friends, you can see if they've watched the episode or not. And if they have, you know you can talk to them about it. In the next section here, we have what's on my watch list, things that I want to see. And then I also have things that I have rated so that my friends can see my preferences as well. And all of this kind of gets consolidated into this profile and then gets blasted out in a couple of different ways. Now, if I go over here to the Friends tab, I can see who my friends are. Uh, this account only has one friend, my other Plex account here, but if you have multiple friends, you'll see them all here, and you can click on each friend to look at their profile. You also get a feed, which is called Activity, and in the Activity feed here, you get a list of what everybody is watching in real time. And as I'll show you in a minute, you can also send messages to people, which is why you see chips on here so many times. I was having a back and forth conversation with a friend of mine, and unfortunately it regenerates the recommendation every time you reply. Um, but you can also see some of the other things that my friends are watching here. And this will get generated as people watch stuff. It'll fill up this feed. And what's also pretty neat is that it consolidates what's popular 
among your friends here as well. So if you've got a big friend list, you can kind of see what the trends are within your social circle, which is kind of neat. Now this information will also surface itself in other areas. So for example, I was browsing through Star Trek Picard here. I'm on season three, episode nine, and it found that my friends had watched this episode before, and I'll get a little option here to click through and see some of the activity related to this episode. And what I'll get here is anytime a friend added this to their watch list or anytime they watch something, and I can even send them a message to say, hey, isn't this episode great? Um, and if I send it along here, uh, what'll happen is my phone will get a push notification and I will get the message. And this will also show up on the activity feed of my friend. So you've got a lot of neat ways now to see what your friends are watching, discuss this stuff with them, make recommendations to your friends, and of course, get recommendations from your friends. And because this Discover feature is universal, the media doesn't have to just be on your Plex server. So for example, my kids right now are at the movie theater watching the movie Elemental, and I can go here and mark this played. And now if I go back to my phone and go over to my activity feed, you'll see that Elemental is on the list of things that my friend just watched. Now you can edit your profile on the phone or on the computer. You just go to the profile tab and you'll see what other people will see. If you edit the profile, you can change your photograph. You can also change the privacy settings here. So right now my friends are seeing everything, but I could decide to maybe hide my watch history, but make the other information available. But remember, this is everything. You can't filter out certain things from showing up on the list here. So if you're Looking to err on the side of caution, just set it all to private. And again, private is the default when the feature gets enabled. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can send messages back and forth with your friends. You can also share media recommendations with them too. So right now we're back in Elemental here and I may wanna suggest this to a friend of mine to watch. So if I click on the share icon, what I'll have right out of the gate are all of my Plex friends here. And what I can do is make this recommendation uh, to my friend via a message, and this will show up with a push notification and also appear in their feed. And on your TV, when you go into your Discover section, you will notice new tabs here at the top. So I can go to my activity feed, for example, and here my friend Lon TV account watched that movie Elemental in the theater. Maybe that's something I want to watch later. I can click here and add it to my own watch list. I can go and look at my friend's profiles here and browse them that way and pretty much the same thing that we had on the computer and the phone, we also get here. Now you can also set up your own automations with RSS, and you can set up feeds for not only your watch list, but also your friends' watch lists. And if you wanted to kind of roll your own solution here, you can do that. You can find this option over in your account settings in the watch list section here and you can generate those RSS feeds right here and integrate them into whatever automations you want. So I found this to be a very efficient way to share TV and movie recommendations with my friends. You can pop on at any time and see what they're watching, and maybe there's something that they forgot to tell you about that popped up on their watch list that you can now add to yours just by going through the activity feed. And what's nice about the Plex Discover feature is that it's not limited to just what's on your Plex server. It indexes just about everything on every streaming service. So you can build up a pretty robust uh, watch list and uh, watch history of your preferences and not only help yourself, but help your friends find new and different things to watch. So I'm gonna be playing with this a lot more, I think, over the next couple of weeks. And again, every time you add a friend who's not a Plex Pass holder, they will get access to the feature as well. That's gonna do it for now. Let me know if you got questions down in the comment section. And until next time, this is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters, Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Hot Sauce and Video Games. Logic KGR. Tom Albrecht. And Om De Brown. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.